I was born in Sanger, California, raised by my mother and three sisters. Um, the first time that I came to a Bulldog game was middle teen years as I was bouncing around through four different high schools here in the Valley. Um, my uncle took myself and my cousins out to uh, here, out to, out to uh, I think at that time they still called it uh, Bulldog Stadium. And coming out here was just surreal. Um, the camaraderie, how live the stadium is. I mean, it's just a wonderful experience to be around and something that I've never forgotten. For the past 20 years, myself and my friends have been coming to football games here, and we collectively thought, how can we give back? How can we pass it forward? And, you know, one of the ideas is, who would want to come to this? And we're, you know, it, it was almost a no-brainer. We're like kids, students. My friends and I decided to throw out a mass text message saying, hey, we're looking to raise as much money as possible to buy as many tickets for local students in the community, and we'd love to have your support. I thought initially it was going to be something that me and my group were going to be funding, but in that short period of time, we were able to raise enough to buy 200 tickets that we had to find some use for. A small gesture like this can go a long way, right? At least it did that for myself, so I'm hoping that's the same in return. And, you know, I, I've been fortunate to go through those adversities and now have the means to pass it forward. It was important to me to identify underserved students, but yet deserving. So we started working with community colleges, high schools, and other groups to help us distribute those tickets. And what's your name, by the way? I'm Lily. Lily, Dario. Good to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Good. So is this your first game? Yeah, I've never been to a game before. I'm excited. Wow. That's why I clicked on the thing really fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me go. I grew up here in Fresno. I am an adoptee, so I don't have my biological family support. I graduated in 2018 from high school, and I didn't start college right away. I do have a four-year-old daughter, so I had her when I was 18 years old. And I do plan on transferring. I do want to transfer to Fresno State. They have a really good engineering program, so that's one of my main reasons, and they're close to home. I just feel like a part of something, something that I saw on TV all the time, which is the game, and now I'm actually there. It's kind of like surreal. Handing out those tickets was super impactful to me, just kind of experiencing, you know, what it meant to them. It was very authentic, to say the least. And it's super important for me to let these students know that there's people out there rooting for them. How's it going? Good. You guys excited for the game or what? Everything just seemed to fall into place, right? We had great weather. It was live and electric, and it was awesome to, you know, walk into the stadium and see a lot of the students that, you know, I was able to meet face to face actually be able to make it out here. You know, I had a chance to go actually talk to some of them, root on the dogs. So it, it was just a really neat experience. Um, really. I was able to see myself in some of them and allowed me to reminisce and remind me of that first time when I first walked into Valley Children's Stadium. This first go around, in my eyes, in our group's eyes, been a success, right? So this is something that we want to continue to pursue. You know, sometimes we take for granted that we have a prestigious university as well as athletics in our own backyard. So we're really just trying to do our part and rally the troops and hopefully make it something bigger in the very near future. I'm actually very appreciative of him that he was thinking of our Central Valley. He's thinking of a place from where he started. He said he was at high school, he'd never been to a game before, and then it just put him on the path to want to succeed even more, and I definitely relate to that because I get these good things and it kind of feels like, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be going. To some people, it might seem like it's just a football game, but for myself and for our group collectively, you know, it was those moments, uh, those Saturdays that had that, you know, direct impact on who we are today. And for these kids, the hope is that, you know, there's some sort of inspiration, right, by them belonging to a community or an environment will hopefully inspire them to pursue their aspirations, right? Whether it's pursuing a college degree, becoming a drum major, right? Or maybe it's even getting on this football field, right? And playing at the next level. We're just super hopeful that being able to go through that experience will continue to push and drive and motivate them to where they want to be.